What's going on everybody? This is Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. Let me start off this video with a small disclaimer. I am president and CEO of the Handheld Haters Coalition. So if you came to this video seeking any type of real objectivity regarding handhelds, click the video off now. You will not find that here, good sir. This will be hopefully about eight to 10 minutes of me just hating and shitting on the idea of all handheld devices. I hate handheld gaming. I despise it. I wish it didn't exist. I had everything about it. Okay, I, I am the Uncle Ruckus of handheld devices. They're just good for nothing. Why are they even here? Okay, that's what you're gonna get from this video. So you can't get mad at me. You can't dislike the video when I've warned you of what's to come. You have been foretold, good sir. And that's what you're gonna get from this video. Cause I hate handheld, handheld devices and they're, and they're a piece of shit. So let's get into the details. So Tom Henderson at Insider Gaming, or yeah, Insider Gaming, who has an amazing track record of, of rumors and, and leaks, has said that there is a new PlayStation handheld uh, on the way. And I, I, you see, you love Tom Henderson when he announces something that you want, but you hate him when he announces something that you despise. So it, it, it's, it's really the flip of the coin, whether it works out for you, depending on what he announces. When he, when he leaked that there's going to be a PS5 Pro, I'm down for that. I want that. Great guy. Love him to death. Glad he announced it. I'm glad it's coming. I believe him. But he announces this, this, this handheld, and I'm like, nope, don't believe it. I'm going to stay in denial about it. I'm, I'm, and let me be in denial, right? Maybe it's, let me, let me believe that maybe this will just stay a rumor. Or maybe this is just a patent. And you know, a lot of patents don't actually come to fruition. They don't do anything with a lot of patents. Maybe it's a patent. Maybe it's something very early in R&D, re in research and development, that never actually gets to the, the phase, the conceptual phase of where they're actually making it and, and, and designing it and developing it to the mass market. Let me believe that. And that's what, I, that's what I'm going to choose to believe, right? I'm okay with being in denial. but. To the information that uh, Tom Henderson is giving us regarding this handle device, here are the details. An 8-inch touchscreen, adaptive triggers, it's going to be always online, so you always need a, uh, a, a, P, a uh, internet and a PS5, because this connects directly to your PS5 re using remote play. It is not a cloud streaming device but a remote play device for your PS5. So if I'm understanding this correctly, this is not a dedicated handheld device that is going to have native or exclusive uh, games and experiences made for it. It's literally just for remote play. That is the only purpose of, that, of this thing. And even though I don't want this thing and I'm president and CEO of the Handheld Haters Coalition, I'm very happy that this is also not what you handheld junkies wanted either. You handheld enthusiasts, this is the opposite of what y'all wanted and y'all are sad and y'all are crying and y'all are in despair and I am just swiping your tears before they hit the ground and it tastes so good. I love your tears. It is, it is amazing. It is like an exquisite, Exquisite delicacy on my palate. I absolutely love it. I, I, I love, when, see, and I know a lot of people may point out the fact that I'm, I'm a VR fan and uh, I'm, I'm, I have the PSVR too and I wanted it and I have it. And you can make the argument, even though it's not apples to apples, it's not a legit comparison, that, the, that, this, that a handheld device, a Vita 2, essentially is what the handheld fans wanted, a successor to the Vita, even though that may sell more than, than the PSVR, uh, a PSVR device, even though, like I said, they're not apple, apples to uh, apples, you know, I, you, you may have an argument there, but here's why I don't care. Because I already got the device I wanted. I got my PSVR too. It's sitting in my living room and I play it. You are probably never going to get what you want. And I am just going to lavish 
in that fact. I'm going to enjoy that fact. See, because here's the thing. You handheld enthusiasts, you needed a handheld because you, you see, what, what PlayStation is doing is y'all said, PlayStation, please give us a handheld. We will do anything for it, good sir. Please, we are begging you for a Vita successor. And they say, and you know, like, you know, like the annoyed parents, when parents get annoyed at you, they're like, all right, damn, here, motherfucker, stop bothering me, take it. Yeah, damn. Of course, my parents weren't like that because my parents loved me. They, they raised me right. They cared about me. I was showed love and compassion. The rest of y'all, I don't know about y'all. Y'all were probably like neglected and abused and you needed a handheld. You know, you took your little handheld into the corner and <laughs> my handheld loves, my handheld loves me. <laughs> you know, it, it, you know, it, did, did your handheld keep you warm at night? Did it make you your favorite meals? Did it attend graduation for you? Did it, did it help you pick out the colleges you were going, going to and, and go on a college tour? Did your handheld devices do anything for, for you like that? No. No, but it's the only thing you had as a child, so I, I understand. Why am I bringing up your traumatic experiences? That's mean. I shouldn't do that. I, I'm, let, me, let me back off. But did, you, did it, your handheld keep you warm? No? No? Okay. Well, sorry. I, I had parents that loved me. I didn't have to resort to using some trash old handheld device. Um, but back to the point. I, I, I digress. Where, where was I? So... Uh, did I finish reading the other uh, the other details about this trash? Okay, so connects directly to your PS5 using remote play, always online. Features adaptive triggers, eight inch touchscreen. It's it's rumored to uh, it's going to release before the PS5 Pro, which is rumored to be holiday 2024. Uh, it's not a cloud streaming device, but a remote play device for the PS5 for people who want to um, be on the go. Is there really a market for a remote? for a remote play device from PlayStation? Is, I don't, is there a market for that? Is there demand? Well, there's a market for everything, but is there a real demand for it, right? Um, because there are other devices like this. I think Razer has, has one and a few other companies have one, but they've all kind of been shitted on, I think. And PlayStation would really only be making this because they want to keep you in the PlayStation ecosystem, probably. They probably don't want you to go to them to some to some third party uh, device to remote play games on the PS5. So I imagine that's why they're making this. Uh, it's going to be uh, th this device uh, is going to be support up to 1080p, 60 frames per second, volume buttons, audio jack, all that all that jazz. So, being that this is a remote play device only. I assume, well, I shouldn't assume really that it's going to be cheaper than what a Vita 2 successor would be, a Vita successor would be, uh, which would have, you know, dedicated and, and native games play on it. I assume it would, it should be cheaper than that because you wouldn't have to put in as much R&D and technology and it would demand more ice, I assume. Um, but Sony doesn't really seem to care about selling anything at a loss these days. With Jim Ryan at the helm, everything you're going to get, every device is PlayStation selling for a, a profit. They don't want to sell anything at a loss, it seems, in case it flops and in case y'all don't support it. Now, I, like I said, I assume the other reason PlayStation is making a, re a remote play handheld device, aside from keeping you in the ecosystem, is they don't want to have to worry about um, first party or even relying on third party uh, developers to make dedicated and exclusive uh, experiences for this handheld. That's a whole nother headache that they have to worry about. So they're saying, hey, take these PS5 games we're giving you and you could play them on the go. It's essentially the same thing with with the Steam Deck because you know you got. I, I think a concern would be if the Steam Deck deck didn't exist is okay. Are would these PlayStation Five games just translate naturally um, to a remote play device, a remote play handheld device? And well, maybe not naturally. You know, would it be the uh, the most viable and optimal way to play? Uh, maybe with a few adjustments, but as we can see with the Steam Deck, and play, and there's a bunch of PlayStation uh, first-party games on Steam Deck, and people seemingly 
uh, love to play them on on that platform. That doesn't seem like it would be a, an issue. It doesn't seem like it would be a problem. The Steam Deck and Steam Deck is this. So, and the other thing is, pl- listen, handheld enthusiasts, handheld weirdos, handheld junkies, whatever you want to call yourself. They couldn't compete with the 3DS. They damn sure wouldn't be able to compete with the Switch, if you consider the Switch a, a, a handheld device. Would, and let me be objective this just one time, would a PlayStation handheld device be able to outsell a Steam Deck? Because the Steam Deck doesn't, hasn't sold as much as I thought it would, even though it, it gets a lot of praise. Um, I think at the beginning of this year, we, only, we learned that, or at the end of last year, we learned that it had only sold like a million copies. Would a plate of a Vita successor sell more than that? Sure, I'll give you, I'll give you all that. But the Vita, the the, the Steam Deck had has seemed to make the the the, the points of a Vita successor a little bit obsolete, right? Why why try to fill a gap that's already being filled for them? The, the, aside from trying to retain some of that profit and that money and keeping people in the ecosystem, the Steam Deck is already doing something for PlayStation that PlayStation doesn't really need to do themselves. So why, why worry about it? Listen, man, that, that's just the way I'm looking at it. There's a lot of nuance to this. And, you know, like I said, even though I'm a hater and all I'm going to do is hate on this thing, I, I got to admit there's some, there's some nuance. There's some pros and, and cons to an actual Vita successor. But the fact that y'all are not getting what y'all actually want, this is not what y'all actually want. Y'all don't want just a a remote play device. I'm I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm I'm mad because this exists in the first place and it's dog shit, but I'm happy that y'all are not getting what y'all actually want. I revel in that fact. So y'all are sad and um, when you're sad, I'm happy. You mad? Well, I'm glad. That's how I feel about this. But that is all I got. Handheld fans, I hope the clouds of sadness taunt you all the days of your life. And uh, follow me on Twitter, though. Um, You know, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not. Hit the join button, too. And, um, yeah, hit the notification bell so you can know any more. Uh, You can know, you know, if I make any more videos taunting handheld fans. Don't want to miss it. Great quality stuff. I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.